welcome to Cooking with Chef Dama. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to make salmon. We're gonna make a delicious spice crusted salmon and we're gonna accompany it with a garlic and dill burblanc. We're going to crust the salmon with a wonderful Indian spice blend. We're going to sear it and cover it with a delicious garlic dill butter sauce. You're gonna love this dish, I guarantee it. So without any further ado, let's cook! Now for the spice crust, I'm gonna use a very unusual spice. This spice in India is known as Ajwain, and there really isn't any English equivalent to that seed because you don't really get this or you don't really use it in the West. This seed is called Ajwain. It is a very, very strong spice and it is very similar in flavor, just a lot stronger than thyme. And it has a look just like caraway, but the flavor is outstanding and unbeatable. You can find Ajwain in almost any Indian store and I really recommend you pick that up because once you get the flavor of Ajwain, you're never gonna go back. It's delicious and it pairs with fish beautifully. We start with one teaspoon of coriander seeds, a teaspoon of fennel seeds, a teaspoon of the said Ajwain seeds and a teaspoon of whole black peppercorns. We put this in our favorite spice nut grinder and take it for a spin. What we're looking for is a very, very fine powder which we're going to crust the salmon with. There you go. Next we work with the salmon. We start with two fresh fillets of salmon which we season on both sides with kosher salt. Next we apply a liberal amount of the spice rub we just ground. You want to be very generous with this. Pat it in, flip it around, and repeat the procedure. Once you're done, leave it aside for approximately 20 to 30 minutes. And while the salmon is absorbing those good flavors, we can start with making the burblanc. Now what exactly is a burblanc? A burblanc is French for white butter. This rich and delicious creamy sauce is made with a reduction of white wine and lemon juice, and we have butter, cold butter mixed into it to make this delicious, hot, thick and creamy sauce. You're gonna love the sauce and it is a perfect accompaniment to fish. To make the sauce, we're going to start with some fresh dill. We pluck the leaves from the stems and give it a very good chop. We wanna chop this as fine as possible. Next, we work with garlic. You wanna give the garlic a really good mince as we want it as fine as possible. Next, we extract the juice of half a lemon. Once this is done, we want to pass this through a strainer, getting rid of the pulp and the seeds and being left only with the clear lemon juice. We measure one cup of white wine, preferably Chardonnay, and start working with our cold, unsalted sweet cream butter. We want to chop these into cubes and it's best if the butter is chilled when doing so. Leave this aside, start with the sauce. In a pan, bring your white wine, your lemon juice, and your garlic to a boil. Our aim here is to reduce this liquid to almost half in quantity. Now once you arrive at a thick reduction, that's when you add your butter, about four to five cubes at a time, whisking constantly. The idea is to get the butter cubes to emulsify with the reduction you've made and only whisking over medium slow heat is gonna let this happen. Yes, it is a tedious procedure, but your efforts will be rewarded. Now the burblum can be an unstable emulsion and it can split easily. To prevent that, I add a little bit of cream. Now the purists are going to say I'm cheating, but you know what, I don't care. I wanna have a nice stable sauce, it's not gonna split on me. You'll mix in the dill leaves now, give it a good stir, taste for seasoning, Leave it aside, it's now time to cook the fish. In your favorite non-stick saute pan, heat up a little bit of oil. When it comes to temperature, add in your fish. Now salmon cooks really fast, and I don't want it to overcook, so I'm gonna cook it for three minutes or until the underside turns opaque, just like that. 
Now ready to flip around. Flip the salmon around and cook it for another two minutes. You don't want to overcook it. You want it to be just nice and soft in the center. And now it's time to plate up. I accompany this with my favorite vegetable, which happens to be steamed broccoli. Give the fish a good coating of this sauce. Be generous, it's such delicious sauce. This butter sauce also goes with vegetables really, really well. Garnish with some fresh lemon and you are done. There you have it. Simple and quick, but so delicious. Spice crusted salmon with a garlic and dill burlock. It is a true indulgence. I love this dish. If you try it, I'm sure you're gonna love it too. This is Chef Dama signing out. Hope you had a good time on this show. Wishing one and all happy eating.